Let's back to school part two for some Liberty County students. Even though they've been doing online learning for more than a month today, marked the first time some students got to see each other and their teachers face to face. Our Dave Williams has more. The Welcome Panther sign in the hallway at Liberty County High School had added significance Monday after seeing their in-person learning come to an abrupt halt in March and more than a month after this academic year began with only virtual learning, 9th and 12th grade students were finally able to return to in-person instruction as part of a phased in approach. Just having our students come back to campus and the good part is having our seniors come back to campus because last year of course we graduated our seniors in a non-traditional manner, so it was exciting to see the seniors come back to campus today. Of course, those students are not returning to normal surroundings. As you would expect, the usual safety protocols surrounding COVID are in effect, but with just half of their students returning this week, it should make following those protocols much easier. With the smaller population, so just transitioning in grade levels has been very beneficial. Uh, with social distancing, they already knew with the markings throughout the building how to social distance. So it was much more manageable by phasing in the grade levels coming back to campus. 10th and 11th graders won't return to in-person instruction here at Liberty County High until next week, but officials tell me having the 9th and 12th graders back this week will only help prepare them to welcome that next wave of students back. It will guide and prepare us and therefore we will know what to expect with the second group of students coming back so that we have our total site based population on hand. And right now that total on site population for the first semester will be around 630 or half of their normal total with others opting to remain in virtual learning. In Liberty County, Dave Williams, WJCL 22 News.